Hey, hey, we're on a sea day for our cruise, and I wanted to mention a few things that you may not think about bringing on a cruise, but that'll make a big difference and it'll help you out in a lot of interesting ways. So let's take a look. First up are these little magnet hooks. They've got real strong magnets on the back, and you might say, well, how are those useful? Well, what they don't necessarily tell you is every wall in a cruise ship is made of metal or is metal underneath and so it's really easy to put these hooks around and hang bags on them uh, or you can use it to hang up a let's say a you know, piece of paper notes you could hang things on your doors you can do lots with them so magnets and magnet hooks specifically but any strong magnet would probably come in handy Another thing that's useful is a lanyard, specifically one with a lobster claw hook on it so that you can get a hole punched in your CPAS card and then you can just hang it on there. What's great is sometimes there are hooks around your cabin or maybe a magnet hook that you've got yourself and you can hang your lanyard on that uh, along with your CPAS card so it's really easy to grab and go. And if you get your CPAS card punched on the right side, you don't even have to take it off and you can put it in the door or whatever you need to do. So yeah, pro tip. And here's my wife with one of her favorite things. A portable fold up hanger. Coming on our cruise, I realized we never have enough hangers for all the clothes we bring. So I found these on Amazon. I got a pack of 12 for $10.99 and they're very easy to use. Unfold, unfold, and hang. I would not recommend them for heavy jackets. However, your lightweight t-shirts, lightweight dress shirts, anything of lightweight, great to use for your cruise. To fold them up, tuck them in and fold up, and they're ready to go back in their storage envelope or whatever you choose to bring them in. Another thing I like, at least as a woman, is the toiletry hanger. It is great for cruises because the bathrooms are so small. While you do have shelves, when you have a lot of things to bring, especially if you bring lots of makeup or hair accessories, it's great to have this hanging travel carrying case. Shampoos, conditioners, body washes, all your accessories for the bathroom. Right here in one easy spot. Okay, so here's a cruise hack. The friggin' uh, magic shell on your cruise. And that way, like add your own little topping to your chocolate ice cream or ice cream. Pretty good. But uh, or some other topping. So another tip would be to bring some Dr Pepper. Well, it doesn't have to be Dr Pepper. You can bring up to twelve cans or bottles of whatever drinks you want on board. So it's actually really nice because, you know, I brought Dr. Pepper, uh, but I also mixed in some things I mentioned before. So like the magic shell and you can see some Powerade. It's real nice. And even if you don't have a little mini fridge in your room, uh, what you can do is have them bring you a bucket with some ice in it. And then you can put, you know, one or two cans or bottles in there and have them cold for the rest of the time. If you travel very much, you probably already have one of these, but if you don't, uh, you should get one. It's a multi-port USB charger, so it takes, you know, plugs in one, puts out four USB, because almost you know, everything important these days seems like it's charging via USB. Even my wife's new camera does that. And what's nice is you use up one of the two outlets in your room and you get four USB charging ports. So besides the adapter itself, you can see that they also have European plugs in the room. So what are these good for? Well, sometimes when you buy other electronics, maybe that are more international, you might get a little adapter that has the European to US plug. And they're really handy. All you gotta do is drop them in or push them into the uh, outlet here and it, uh, will then be a spot you can plug your uh, little USB adapter into. Uh, it doesn't convert the voltage, so 
uh, you need to double check, but if you look real closely on these USB adapters, you'll see that uh, most of them say 110 to 240. If it says that, then you can just plug it into that adapter and it'll still output the 5 volts that your USB device is expecting. And so you get a couple extra plugs that way. So you, uh, you could do uh, just a single one like this, or you could use another multi-device. But this adds a couple more plugs in the room that you can use. And these things are you know, usually a couple of bucks, or like I said, you might even find some digging around in your uh, other devices. And our final tip is to bring a straw. Yes, cruise lines are starting to phase these out. So if you really like drinking out of a straw, you should invest in your own and bring them on board. A lot of cruise lines are starting to phase them out. And so you'll see less and less of these available. I think you can still get them, but they're kind of by special request only. And so it's just a little bit easier to just bring your own and you don't have to worry about it or worry about waiting for them to bring you one. Uh, overall, it works pretty well. And that concludes our tips. Have a good one.